I wonder if you made a rainbow all those weeks ago when we were first asked to stay at home. Maybe you made one and put it up in your window for people to see as they walked past. Or maybe you chalked one onto the pavement or the fence or the wall outside your house. It's now more than three months since brightly coloured rainbows started to appear in our streets, our windows and all sorts of other places as reminders of hope, a symbol of solidarity, a way to brighten people's days in what was the start of a strange and difficult time for lots of people. I wonder if you still have your rainbow up in your window or chalked onto your wall. I've noticed as I walk and drive around that many rainbows are looking rather faded, curled at the edges or just a bit tired. Some have disappeared completely. The one we chalked onto our fence outside our house has all but faded away with time and rain. But our need for the hope, the togetherness, the brightening of our days is no less now than it was three months ago. Which is why I wondered whether today we could share some ideas for making new rainbows or indeed any other bright and colourful creations so that we can refresh our windows and remind ourselves that the hope we needed all those weeks ago is still alive that even when we continue to find aspects of this time difficult or challenging, there's still hope of better things to come. There's still a need to bring light and brightness into our days and the days of those around us. There's still a need to stick together, look out for each other and encourage one another. So I've been having a think about how we could make rainbows and I'm sure you'll have lots of ideas. One idea I came up with is to make a collaged rainbow using bits and pieces of magazines and leaflets and newspapers that I found lying around. So I've looked for all the different colours in the rainbow in some leaflets and old magazines and newspapers, even cereal packets and other cardboard things you might find in the recycling bin. And I've cut them up and put them into a little uh, section so that I've got some of every colour. And then I'm just sticking them on to make a rainbow shape with all the colours of the rainbow. And you could make this as big or as small as you want to. Depends how many things you can find lying around to, to cut up. And so as you build up your rainbow, you'll be able to Make a whole rainbow with all the different coloured bits of paper that you've got. And as you're doing that, have a think about the hope that you have for the future and maybe some of the things that you're really looking forward to or hoping for in the weeks and months to come. There are lots of places in the Bible where we can read about the hope that God gives us in Jesus. The hope we can hold on to even when everything around us might sometimes seem hopeless. One of my favourite verses is in the book of Isaiah in the Bible. It says, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I'll be with you and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flames scorch you. Sadly, it's going to be a long time until we're able to meet together again for Tuesdays together. I wonder if in the meantime, we could work together to decorate the windows of the community room where we normally meet with bright, colourful pictures as a sign that we're all together, even though we can't meet, that we're still looking out for each other and seeking to be brightness wherever we are. If you'd like to draw a rainbow or make a rainbow, a butterfly, a flower or anything else that's bright and colourful, then please do and send it to us or let us know to come and pick it up and we'll display them for everyone to see. My prayer for you all this week is that you'd be able to reignite that hope that we so needed all those weeks ago, if it has faded, that you would know it even when your surroundings may say otherwise. I hope you have a good week. And as always, if there's anything we can do for you or anyone you know at this time, then please do get in touch.